Hello and welcome to the February setup. I'm Lizelle Sambri. I'm a traditionally published author and this is my writing and reading journal. Um, I'll have a link up above if you want to check out my 2022 setup, which also includes my uh, January spread. And uh, check that out if you want to see how I've set up things so far. Um, now I'm on to February. I'm doing a Mexican gothic theme which essentially means I'm finding a way to use up a lot of the um, mushroom stickers that I have because uh, if you know you know uh, and so Mexican Gothic is by Silvia Moreno Garcia I'm trying to do book themes for my journal spreads or my monthly spreads rather um, and so I really love that book. It's an adult, like a gothic horror, if you will, um, about a girl whose cousin is newly married and she's living in a manor and she sends this letter that's basically like, please come and like see me and like that she's having difficulty. And so her cousin, who's the main character, Noemi, decides to go and check in on her cousin and finds that she's very much not well and her husband is very strange and it's this whole thing uh, and there are mushrooms so uh, yeah I won't say much more than that I think it's best to leave that much a mystery <laughs> um, but I would highly recommend it um, so right here I'm just doing my little favorite book section last time I did a Dutch door sort of system and so I wanted to try not doing that just to kind of test out what works for me um, I've not done bullet journaling before <laughs> really um, and so I'm just kind of figuring out what might work for me and trying out different things and so in this case I'm just doing the a little monthly spread here I didn't want to do a title page or anything that intense so I just went ahead and did this so I have a favorite books of the month section a goal section a monthly win section and a monthly reflection section um, so I basically have those there for me to fill in and I picked this color because I thought it matched the Mexican Gothic cover well but then like when I put it down on the paper I didn't really like it that much but it was too late so I just kind of stuck with it um, and I'll have in the description below I'll list what Tombos I'm using and what pens I'm using and where I got all the stickers from if you're wanting to know where those came from so don't worry about that um, and I also got this really cute washi tape that was also like it's like a it's a cottage core washi tape but I thought it would work well because it's got mushrooms on it as well um, and so I also put that in there I just realized I had a lot of mushroom themed things and in my January spread I did a lot of drawing and not a lot of use of stickers but I do have a really large sticker collection and so I'm trying to use them more so in this spread I was really focused on trying to use those. I'm realizing now that I put on that washi tape really crooked and I didn't realize that when I was doing it but now I'm like oh my gosh you'll have to go back and fix that. <laughs> so I'm putting these little mushroom stickers here. I actually think the sticker sheet is so cute. Again I'll have that linked in the description and I'm just basically doing like a decoration with mushrooms sort of thing for this theme. Um, I also added in some little details with the Tombow because it felt kind of naked or I guess I just felt like I wasn't doing enough so I wanted to add things in there. Um, and that's basically kind of how I decided to proceed with the spreads. Um, one of these months I'll probably try out doing a title page. I've really just been experimenting with this bullet journal and trying to figure out how I want a bullet journal and how this is going to work for me because really for tracking my books I use Notion for all the nitty-gritty stuff like how many books have I yet read in a year, what's my TBR, what am I reading this month, all of those things and I'll write down my thoughts there as well so I'll do my own little review thing there. Because I'm an author I don't review books on Goodreads anymore or really like use Goodreads that much at all. Um, 
because for one I don't want to see accidentally see reviews of my own book but also I just like you know you get to a point I think for some authors in which you know these people now become your colleagues so you don't really want to necessarily be on the website being like this book sucked because you might end up having to do a panel with that person and if they know that you were on the you know on Beyonce's internet saying their book was terrible how awkward is that going to be for you and things like that and so that's why that's another reason why I stay away from Goodreads and Storygraph I know people have been using as well and really liking and that one um, I believe was created by a black woman as well which is wonderful so I, I know those are those platforms. I use Notion to track because Notion is completely private for me. <laughs> and so I keep my private thoughts to myself. And then the books that I talk about on my channel, I talk about only in a positive way. So then that's kind of my way to still be able to engage with bookish things. So this is my first weekly spread here. I decided to kind of try out this style and see how I like it. Um, so yeah I put my little calendar and I highlighted what week it was and then all across the bottom I have the days of the week there and I have my habit tracker I use my habit tracker to track all sorts of things um, my water if I'm active eating vegetables eating at home and working on my world building bible for my space opera so now I'm just kind of figuring out what I want to put in this square space. I was originally going to draw something, but then I was like, I really need to use up my stickers. Um, and so I got these sort of like old timey-ish stickers um, because Mexican Gothic is set like, I can't remember the exact time period, but it is set like, I want to say early 1900s, but I'm not 100%. So please do not quote me on that. So I thought this kind of old timey sticker would work. And I like that it kind of looked like a letter because of the letter that Noemi's cousin sends to her. Right now I am filming this video quite a bit early. So I'm actually filming this in December. Because I'm so new to bullet journaling, I was kind of concerned about having time and like feeling like I was able to keep up with everything. So I figured if I filmed my February a little bit early, it would give me um, a little bit of extra space and time to get used to doing my monthly spreads and things like that. I don't know if that's like a normal bullet journal journaler thing. Um, I do watch a lot of people nowadays, but I'm still kind of like not up and up on how people go ahead with things. Um, even December as I'm filming now, <laughs> I noticed that everybody was already posting their 2022 setups and I was like, oh wow, I'm not posting that until January. So it's kind of interesting in that way. I put this washi tape at the top again, which I actually did like. These spreads I'm very at odds with. I don't think I like them as much. <laughs> I wanted to really lean into the stickers because I have such a large sticker collection, but then I kind of missed some of the extra drawing that I had done previously. Um, so I might have to find a way to incorporate that when I do my March spread. So I switched the weekly spread again because I was kind of like, wow, am I gonna use two pages for every week? And it felt like it was gonna be tiring. So I tried out this kind of vertical spread where I have the whole week on one page, which I do actually think is nice and I don't, see myself needing a lot of space but I guess we'll see when I actually start filling out my January spreads how that goes because I'm filming in December I really made a new month of spreads without having yet tried the first one so we'll see how that goes but I'm open to being experimental I've been pretty simple with these weekly so far it's just kind of been my habit tracker and I put a little note section there and my calendar um, and I think as I go on I'll kind of decide if there are more things that I want to put in there that I think will be relevant or if I have a month where something in particular is happening maybe I'll want something else to be in there um, but I do like the idea of this simple kind of vertical 
um, Monday to Saturday sort of thing. I start my weeks on Mondays just because I find that that works better. Um, it separates the weekend and the weekdays when I actually work because I do my writing on weekdays and I take weekends off. That was a, a kind of what's the word I'm looking for? Schedule that I started doing last year uh, in 2021. And um, then I've kind of just decided to stick with that. And so here's my last weekly here. Um, I had a giant mushroom sticker, but I couldn't really find anywhere to put it. So I just mostly ended up using these small little mushroom stickers. Um, for it instead which worked out really well because they are actually super cute and I really do like that sticker sheet and I'm glad I actually am using it up um, so now what I'm gonna be doing is I have a quote that I'm going to put on the next page over there So I'm using again these Alice in Wonderland book pages and just kind of ripping them to make them look a little bit more rough um, and sticking them down as a background to put this quote on. I thought maybe I could like hand letter the quote but I'm such a hand lettering newbie like that's really not <laughs> my skill set. I'd like to get better at it over time but I'm just kind of figuring it out. I had this like hand lettering book where it was like you basically are just like copying the letters they're doing and I tried doing it but I find it difficult to like copy individual letters and to have that help me with like hand lettering as a whole because I naturally want to connect the letters and then I don't know how to connect the individual letters and it's a whole thing. Um, so I ended up just like printing it out from my printer and like sticking it on like a stiffer piece of paper. And so the quote from Mexican, Mexican Gothic is, the world might indeed be a cursed circle. The snake swallowed its tail and there could be no end, only an, inter only an eternal ruination and endless devouring. Um, I just like the quote because I think it's really like creepy and like insidious. And um, it makes me think of like that imagery of an Ouroboros, which is a snake eating its tail, um, which I learned about from Full Metal Alchemist. So if you're an anime fan, <laughs> that's how you learned about Ouroboros as well. Uh, you should definitely comment a little snake or something so we can uh, know who each other is. Um, anyway, so I put this little sticker of like a letter again in the corner um, that I then cut off and I put the other half on the bottom just to kind of decorate it. And then I just added my little um, star thingies again around the bottom um so it's like it ended up being a pretty simple spread again i don't know that i'm super satisfied with it i think i just wanted to i wanted to use up those stickers but i wish i had found a way to incorporate a little bit more drawings and stuff here's the final flip through that i'm doing with you so next time i think i'll do a spread where i can incorporate stickers but also do a bit more like drawing and illustration so it feels a little little bit more creative for me um, but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe I would really appreciate it I will be making monthly bullet journal videos so you'll get to see a setup every month And that's about it for this video thank you so much for being here with me and for watching bye